Hey TDD family, so it is about 3 o'clock in the morning, actually probably about 3.30. My shift is ending, I am going to go wake up my husband because I'm actually getting really tired. I just finished signing in a bunch of water trucks at our flowback site, so I'm going to pretty much get ready and head to bed, but I got to get him up first. Let's go wake him up. <laughs> so the doors are closed because this is going to help keep all the sound out of the bedroom along with the noise machine and the little curtain that goes across. I think you call it a curtain anyway. So we're going to go get him up and uh, say good morning. But first, I got to make sure there's not a truck coming through. Nope. All right, guys, let's go in and wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> Light's a little bright for you. Too early. So now that we've woken him up, I will go to bed and we will show you what our day is like being a gay guard. Good morning, TDD family. So I'm finally awake, getting my day started, and uh, Christine just went to sleep. But generally about this time, we're just checking in and out water trucks. Not too much to that. They all tend to come in at the same time, so we'll have five come in and then they'll be here for about a half an hour and then the five will leave. So really not too much happening right now until about six o'clock in the morning. Shift changes is generally about 6 a.m., 6 p.m. So it's about five o'clock now and still nobody's came by in the last two hours. It is pretty chilly out here, um, at least at night. It's supposed to be uh, 32 tomorrow and that's, uh, that's for San Antonio area. That's pretty cold. Uh, at least as far as we know but um it's, it's chilly out here i'm just i'm glad we got away from the snow at least i'm not sure if we're gonna get any but it's nice to finally spend a winter away from the snow well another winter away from the snow it was it was nice in florida when we were down there and actually in a hot tub and and uh we didn't have to deal with a couple of feet of snow that was the the first year of my life i actually got away from the cold weather so I'm just here right now, just waiting for people to come through still. Probably gonna make a little something to eat here soon. But we'll keep you guys in the loop on how our day is going and anything interesting that happens. Well, we'll see what happens in the next couple of uh, couple of hours when shift change starts up. Oh, but I'm gonna go back inside, it's really cold. <laughs> So it's 6 o'clock now and not much has happened. Um, the water trucks did shift change. So five people left, five new people came in. It's uh, it's freezing rain outside now. It's, don't want to be out there. So I don't mind the quiet time, especially when it's uh, cold and wet and rainy outside. I was watching a food show video on YouTube and they were in Copenhagen eating hot dogs and it just for some reason looks so good that I guess I'm gonna start my morning off with a hot dog <laughs> instead of regular breakfast but it just sounded really good I should have said three hot dogs I eat a lot and I, for some reason, never gain weight, but I'm always hungry. Cheese goes with everything, especially hot dogs. Time to eat. Hot. Time to wait for them to cool down now. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's gonna be any shift change today. Um, we did have the shift change with the water trucks. Like five came in and then five left and said we're done. Really wasn't too much happening this morning. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like this for the rest of the day. 
but uh, we'll we'll see. Got our little got my little uh, table buddy. Every time food gets to the table, this little one comes and sits at the table and just stares at us. I know bad habit, but she's too cute to yell at, and she doesn't get into our food. No, she's a good girl. Right, Kiki? You a good girl? One of the water trucks were leaving, so I just had to check them out. I just used the number on the side of their truck. That's our emotion sensor going off. So, um, like I said, one of the water trucks were just leaving. So all I do is just use the number on the side of their truck. I already have their name saved. And um, I'll check them out. And when they come back, check them back in. Um, the only reason I need to go outside initially is just to get their names to know who they are and then I could do all the rest that was good <laughs> now that we're done with that we just go back and sit down and wait for somebody else to come in so far it's only been water trucks but that's how some days go but basically that's how it is all day you're home and you walk in and out of your door uh, about a hundred times a day <laughs> That's gate guarding. It's not the most fun job in the world. It can be very monotonous, but it's what we gotta do to get to where we wanna be. And this sacrifice is well worth the reward. It's about 8.30 here now. Uh, nobody is really coming by, so I'm gonna go and back. Once a week or so, we uh, check our water levels and fuel levels just to make sure we have enough to get through. They usually come out here about every two weeks and refill us, service the equipment, but especially with taking showers and washing clothes, that goes down pretty quick. Um, we haven't had a problem with running out, maybe more than, you know, a time or two. It's better just to keep track of it and make sure we have enough to get by, so. We got our water tank over here. out here so to check our water level we have to uh, pull the top off this black tank here and just see what we have left inside it's a little difficult to do this with one hand well this is about what we have left so we got plenty of water left uh, probably won't need any for about two weeks it's, it does last a while Good morning. Morning. <laughs> She's the happiest person in the world when she wakes up. So happy. Actually, I'm hungry. <laughs> hungry and I want a smoothie. Hey guys, I'm awake. I'm going to start my shift now and I'm going to kind of take you guys along on what I do for the day, what my shift consists of. So we're gonna start out by making some smoothies and have some good breakfast. We got lots of fruit to make. I'm not sure what I wanna make, but I know I'm gonna use mango, I'm gonna use strawberries. So we'll get those out. This is our little setup here. We've got the blender and the two cups. So we're gonna use that. Blueberries sound really good this morning. And we're also going to use a banana. We're also gonna use almond milk, and yogurt. Make sure it's like really tight. Not too tight though. And... Light away! Okay. 
Oh my god. That is the best shake ever. So we have things set up so I have the motion sensor outside and the uh, so we have things set up. So breakfast is made. Delicious breakfast. This is the beginning to the day. Good breakfast. So it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock. I'm gonna take over now. It's getting really busy and he really needs to focus on editing. We kind of compromise when we need to do things when it gets busy. So we kind of work it out like I'll just take over a little earlier and there's a truck. But from here on out, I'm just gonna take over. I'm gonna start sending people in and out. That'll be the rest of my day. And you know, it's not bad. Right now I'm gonna get my vest on and get ready. So right now it's about four to five o'clock in the afternoon. Shift change will be happening soon and that'll get pretty busy but still bearable, you know. But up until up until shift change, it's been steady. We've had a lot of water trucks, crew trucks coming in, just doing their thing, delivering whatever they need to do, fixing things that they have to. But it's not bad at all, you know. This gate is a little bit busier, but we, you know, we like it. It's a nice gate. But right now I'm outside. It is about probably 40 something degrees and it's gonna dip into the 30s tonight. I think they said 32. So hopefully our tanks don't freeze. They shouldn't, but still we just gotta be careful. I am not ready for winter to come. It's not bad here right now, but it's nice to be down south. Even though it is cold, they said it's supposed to warm up. So hopefully this cold spell won't last too long. <laughs> But that's it for the rest of the night. I'm still just gonna be signing trucks in and out, doing my thing, and I'll get on YouTube, do some research, things like that, but on that, it's just doing my work. It's 7.45, I usually head to bed around seven or eight. So I'm pretty tired right now. It's been a really long day. I've got a lot of editing done, been signing people in and out all day, and Christine's gonna be finishing off with her shift. The night shift, woo! It was nice to spend a day with you, but I'm off to bed, so I will see you on the next one. Hey guys, it's around 8 to 9 p.m. My husband just went to sleep, so I am gonna talk a little softly right now because I don't wanna keep him awake. The night shift really isn't too bad. It does slow down about 7.30, 8 o'clock here. The water trucks did their shift changes at five and seven, so new people are in now. They're gonna be going back and forth quite a bit along with a couple of oil trucks. So we have to look out for those as well. We sign everybody in and out. So right now I'm just gonna sit back and relax. I'll probably read a book, I'll mess around on YouTube, or whatever I feel like doing tonight. And I kinda get things cleaned up here, put things away. And then I got little Miss Kitty back there. She keeps me company at night when she's not laying with dad. But right now I'm just gonna get back to work and wait for the next truck to come through. Hey guys, so it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning right now. I just figured I'd do a quick check-in to let you know how it's been going. So. After my husband went to bed, it was quiet for a little bit. It was nice, like normal. But shortly after that, it started to get really busy. We've had multiple water trucks going in and out. And it's kind of like one in, one out, one in, one out. And now that they're doing flow back and they've got the wells open, they're also having oil trucks come in to take the oil and deliver it to wherever it's supposed to go. So it has been actually pretty busy tonight. It might just be like this until they're done with flow back, but I'm not really sure how it's gonna go, so. But, um, yeah, for now, it's just kind of sitting here and signing them in and out when they come and doing what I can do. <laughs> We're gonna call it a night here. My shift is done, I gotta get my husband up. He's been sleeping and he's gotta get ready for his shift. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you liked the video, leave a comment and a like down below. And please don't forget to consider subscribing and becoming part of the TDD family. Also, send us an email. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter if you want to connect with us. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks again and good night. Mwah. Bye, guys. Thank you.